Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net. Thank you for watching this YouTube channel. Thank you for all the comments and the people that we get regularly that tune in. Um, this week's vegan question and answer is, what's wrong with eggs? I'm currently in Indonesia. I'm giving a lot of talks on veganism, vegan outreach, doing some food demonstrations. And this is one of the main questions I get asked a lot. And I like to talk about it when I'm talking about my transition from being a vegetarian to a vegan a few years later. The dairy and the milk in the dairy and milk industries as well as the egg industries are some of the reasons that people finally become vegan. So today I just want to talk about the process of creating eggs now um, for consumers. So um, chickens are mostly kept in little tiny cages about the size of an A4 sheet of paper and they cram four of these chickens into one cage. Uh, they're kept in really really light and bright um, an environment. They keep the lights on all the time so that the chickens continually think that it's daytime and that they breed more and more and more. Um, they are kept four chickens to this one cage. They have their beaks cut off without anesthesia and they also are forced um, to you know not have any food at certain times and not have any water at certain times so that um, this induces their egg cycles. Um, naturally chickens can live to 15 to 20 years but nowadays um, the maximum that chickens um, are allowed to live is for 18 months. I see this with a lot of my friends who run some really amazing animal sanctuaries especially in Australia and America. Some of them have rescued animals or I have other friends that rescue animals in particular chickens and the chickens just cannot hold their body weight. They've been bred over and over and they're fed all the time so that they're bigger so that you can have more meat when you eat whatever you eat at some of the um, fast food places that are taking over the world. And so these chickens they, they only have a small amount of time to live and the majority of them, like I said, just will not go past that 18 months when they're meant to be killed. So um, you've got all these chickens and the, um, that are just growing at a horrible rate, um, a rate that they're not meant to be grown at, so their little legs just cannot support this weight. And so many of these chickens die after they've been rescued. Um, and all these chickens that are held captive some of these chickens are held captive in really small cages. Some of them are held captive in bigger barns. Some of them are allowed to go outside for a while. They may be called um, free range hens and the ones in the bigger barns are called barn hens. So you've got three different types of chickens and the other ones are like factory farmed or caged chickens. Um, don't really fool yourself into thinking there's much of a difference between these because some of these things like going outside can only be like 15 minutes or the barns are still really cramped full of chickens. And please remember that every single one of these chickens is bred just to be eaten. Every single one of these chickens dies in the end. That's the whole idea of these chickens, is not for, not for them to have a happy life, dust bathing, spreading their wings, um, having their little pecking order and having all their amazing relationships with each other. It's just for someone to eat which as a vegan myself I'm completely against because I don't agree with using, abusing or killing any animals for any reason whatsoever. Um, these chickens that are held captive, you have, so they're, um, they're the female chickens that are held captive because they produce the eggs. And you have male or female chickens. When you have the hatchlings, like the little chickens that are born, they get sorted. So the females are kept because we want them to be laying eggs and the males are just as quickly killed. So they're all ground up, completely ground up and um, you see these for dog foods, for f filling type um, meats like um, nuggets and, and sort of waste, waste meat I guess. Um, this to me is a feminist um, and um, someone who is open to all sorts of equality for all races, species and genders is a, is a gender equality issue. All the males 
I completely killed. That's really, I think that's really horrible. These are the things that you, if you're consuming eggs, um, you are saying that you agree to. You are saying if you don't buy these products that you don't agree to this and that we can stop this hopefully. And the more people that don't buy eggs, whether they're um, barn, um, cage or um, free range, the better. We need to be promoting veganism to people more and we need to show people that it's so easy to be vegan. Another thing that um, I get asked about a lot is um, having like rescued chickens and looking after them in your backyard and whether or not it's okay to be eating these eggs. If you're a vegan, I don't agree with eating the eggs. And if you're a vegan, you would not be agreeing with that either. Because like I said, it's all about not using, abusing and hurting any other animal. Also, you don't as a vegan, you don't want to be seen you you, you don't see animals as there just for your own use. And people say, oh yeah, but they have these eggs, they've been rescued, and um, what, what do you do with the eggs? It's just a waste if I don't consume them. It's not a waste. If you weren't here, if the chickens were just living their own little life, they would be fine. The chickens, if they're not um, fertilized by a rooster, um, you can just cut them up or just smash them and give them to your chickens to actually eat. So yes, eat their own eggs because by giving off, by producing a lot of eggs over and over, they are getting rid of essential nutrients that they they really need in their systems, like calcium. So by eating their own eggs, they're getting the calcium that they need. Um, I, I know people that just boil the eggs for their chickens, but you can just mash them and have they can have them raw. This is what I believe is the best way to um, deal with the eggs that your chickens that you've rescued and that you're now looking after um, this is the best way to handle that situation so I hope that that has answered some questions for you with with in regards to eggs and I hope to see you next week on this channel